We shall now discuss part B of the sixth unit that deals with qualitative inorganic analysis, very commonly known as salt analysis. An inorganic salt is made of two components, cation and anion. Since in the formation of a salt, cation comes from base and anion comes from the acid. Hence, these are known as basic and acid radicals of a salt. Salt analysis means detection of these two radicals of a salt qualitatively. Though there are large number of basic and acid radicals, but we have to study analysis of the most common radicals as given below. So the list of acid radicals is carbonate, sulfite, sulfide, acetate, nitrite, chloride, bromide, iodide, nitrate and sulfate. Well, in case of basic radicals, we have to study ammonium ion, silver, mercurous, lead, mercuric, cupric, cadmium, tin, arsenic, antimony, bismuth, aluminium, iron, aspheric, chromium, CR3+, zinc, manganese, cobalt, nickel, barium, strontium, calcium and magnesium ions. So we will first of all learn detection of acid radical in a given salt. For the sake of practical convenience, all the acid radicals listed above are classified into following three groups. A. Dilute Sulfuric Acid Group This includes Carbonate, Sulfide, Acetate and Nitrate. B. Concentrated Sulfuric Acid Group this has chloride, bromide, iodide and nitrate ions. Finally C that is sodium carbonate extract group. It has only one radical that is sulfate. Let us study them one by one. So we begin with A dilute H2SO4 group. The preliminary indications are given in the following table. What do we do? We take salt and add dilute sulfuric acid to that in a test tube and heat it. The observations can be any of the following five provided you are given a single salt. So the first one is, the gas evolved is colorless, odorless gas. It may be carbon dioxide. It indicates the presence of carbonate ion in the salt. Or if it is a colorless gas with odor of burning sulfur, then this gas can be sulfur dioxide and it indicates the presence of sulfide ion in the salt. Otherwise, it may be a colorless gas with the smell of rotten egg, then this gas is H2S. And it indicates presence of sulfide ion in the salt. However, if we get a colorless gas, with the smell of vinegar, then these can be vapors of acetic acid. And it indicates 
presence of acetate ion in the salt. But if the gas evolved is brown in color, they are brown fumes, then this gas can be NO2 and it indicates presence of nitrite ion in the salt.